um um i had dealt with that at first you know when you're a child sometimes you don't know what's going on until you get older and you don't realize certain stuff until you get older because you know when you're a child certain things don't pick up until later on in life so when i start getting the way of how things were i probably was in my teens at the time and by that time i did try to reconnect with my three brothers and my sister and my other sister but it's like it wasn't never it was hard to do and we didn't have that connection because we went so many years without seeing each other it wasn't there like we know who each other is but it wasn't a strong connection like i had with the sister that i grew up with mm, so i think um that is definitely um traumatizing uh to, to, to begin with i think um to, to say that is traumatizing is definitely an understatement so um and uh how did you i mean amidst all these um issues that you were having um what made you resilient and uh, what made you actually hold on to to life and what it has to offer all throughout the years well um i was still able to hold through, through life through the um the, all the things i went through because what i went through made me stronger i didn't let it stop me from doing what i needed to do i didn't explain anybody else for what had happened because it wasn't nobody else for it just made me stronger and you know, it made me determined to be something. And I said, I'm just going to learn from my past and not, you know, learn and move on. So actually me going through all the tough stuff I went through as a child, it made me a stronger person. Right. And uh, um, you, you actually mentioned that, you know, when, when things were good, you were going to school, uh, you didn't have any issues with school and you know things like that so um, no i didn't yeah. i did always did good in school i always managed to get a's and b's i was always like one point when they came to school it never affected my schoolwork at all 